I'm Regis Philbin, all American, no preservatives, and I'm back, baby. Yeah, I'm Rick. back. <laughs> You didn't know what would come out of his mouth, and the audience loved every bit of it. What ego? I have no ego. Legendary TV host Regis Philbin died of natural causes Friday night. His family telling NBC News, they're forever grateful for the time we got to spend with him, for his warmth, his legendary sense of humor, and his singular ability to make every day into something worth talking about. Before he became a fixture on the small screen, this big personality got to start behind the scenes as an NBC page for The Tonight Show in the 50s. 50 years ago, I was a page right here. <laughs> Same thing here. To becoming a regular on The Joey Bishop Show. And now that I've become a national singing idol. But it was a nationally syndicated morning show he co-hosted with Kathy Lee Gifford for 15 years that made him a household name. I thought you were just boyfriend and girlfriend. It was really none of your business, was it? Philbin's talents and charm would cross over into another hit program, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? $4,000 right now. Over the course of his 60-year career, he spent nearly 17,000 hours in our homes, a Guinness World Record for most hours on U.S. television. Overnight tributes poured in. Former co-host and friend Kathy Lee said she simply adored him and every day with him was a gift. Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest said in a joint statement he was the ultimate class act. Our Hoda Copy tweeted, heartbroken, we will miss you, Regis. Al Roker wrote, so sorry to hear about the passing of a true legend in broadcasting. President Trump adding, he was a fantastic person and my friend. In a Today interview, Philbin looked back fondly on his long storied career. And it's been a wonderful life and I've enjoyed it even when, you know, even when I was being paid to nothing as opposed to what I'm being paid now. I've loved it all the way. And his warmth and joy was just infectious. I know I was glued to the screen every time he came on TV. And Billy, he would have turned 89 next month. And you know, Kathy, we should remind people that before he ever even got into entertainment, Regis served honorably in the United States Navy. What a life. Kathy Park, thank you very much.